The overall goal of this training program is to provide some guidelines and standardize a training program to teach individuals with spinal cord injury how to ambulate using a powered exoskeleton. This method can help answer key questions in the powered exoskeleton field, such as progression of training and types of activities to develop necessary skills to use these devices independently. The main advantage of this technique is that it provides specific guidelines and structured activities to train individuals with little to no volitional movement in their lower extremities to ambulate using the powered exoskeleton, which is an emerging technology. The implications of this technique may extend towards drug therapy, since neuroplasticity potentially allows new regions of the brain to make new neuroconnections in order to perform functional tasks. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because they're not accustomed to appropriately shifting their own body weight to allow for the device to walk let alone standing upright. Begin by placing the participant in the supine position. Use a flexible tape measure to determine the pelvic width, upper leg length, as well as lower leg length, and record in centimeters. Measure the upper leg length from the most prominent point of the greater trochanter of the hip to knee joint line. Measure the other limb in the same manner and record any discrepancies in limb length. Adjust the powered exoskeleton from the center of the hip axis to the center of the knee axis according to the distance measured on each of the participant's upper leg lengths. Next, measure the lower leg length from the knee